all know that summer seems to be all about snacks. And Stephanie and Tony Tantillo, lucky for us, are here with a summer dish perfect for any time of the day. They're here. They're here. D yes, that's right. And you know what? Heirloom tomatoes in the market. It is summer. They're wonderful. Usually we make a salad with them without cooking them up or heating them up, but what you're doing here is fantastic. Well, see, heirloom tomatoes are really nice to be showcased because they are such a cool shape, so many cool colors. But yeah. they have a great taste when you cook them as well. So we're heating them up in this pan with just a little bit of oil and some cilantro. Okay. Oh, I like the cilantro touch. You usually see it with basil, but we're right. pairing them with cilantro because it's going to go great with this whole recipe. Okay. So that's in this pan right here. And what I'm going to do, these have been heating, and you'll notice there's a lot of water that comes out of that, but we're going to use this water later on in the recipe. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start plating these. And in the meantime, the rest of it, if you want to mix it up, has, sure. we have bicolor corn, All right. which we sauteed, and we have it with some raw bell peppers. We'll put this right on top? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna, let me help you with this right here. Help you with some of these tomatoes. The juices that come out of this is so great. And this you could serve also cold. You could cool it down too if you, you want to, right? You can cool this down. You actually can definitely let this cool. But before you mix in the corn, I'm gonna right. use some of the juice from the tomatoes okay. to coat them as sort of a dressing. Oh, put a couple more in there. Okay. Because. I think Diane's hungry. Yes, I think she is, is too. <laughs> Perfect. So you can now, put that right on top. Okay. And, and I like that you, when you caramelize the corn, mm -hmm. what a great idea. It's nice because obviously you can grill it, but if you find yeah. yourself inside, all you have to do is cut it off the, the cob. Okay. And the best way to do that is to make sure your knife is nice and sharp because that way the corn won't be so wobbly. And, and then we're going to put some cherry tomatoes on top and we're going to finish it off with some ribboned zucchini. Well, look how beautiful this looks, Stephanie. Beautiful colors and flavors. It's a picture. <laughs> so we do we just here. take a picture and then we eat it? Okay. Thank you, Bella. It's a thing to do. Beautiful. Happy? I think we might have to go to commercial break so I can go and yes, sample it. Yeah, well, you, you're going to have to race me to that because I'll beat you to it. Tony and Stephanie, thanks so much. And if there's a dish you'd like Tony and Stephanie to make, tell us about it on Facebook. Just go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash CBS New York.